The Franken Quest 2 is the most comfortable way to deck out your Quest 2. You have a ton of options and you could spend a boatload of money on it. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best ways to bring convenience and comfort to your new Quest 2. Let's get to it. <laughs> The Franken Quest 2 is the ultimate comfort for your Quest 2. What is it? Well, it's basically the HTC Deluxe Audio Strap, which was meant for the original Vive, modified to fit on the Quest 1 and now the Quest 2, using 3D printed adapters. Now, there's a lot of other accessories that you can add. These will give you even more comfort and conveniences to your experience, and I will show you a bunch of them in this video. There's so much to show and review in this video that it will mostly be an information dump on what the accessories are, how to install them, and my review on them. So let's get started with the basic Franken Quest 2, and timestamps will be below if you want to see something else. First, we will discuss what you need for your Quest 2. Go ahead and buy an HTC Deluxe Audio Strap. The HTC website or any major online retailer all have them for about $100. Links are going to be below for everything that I bought and reviewed in this video though. Now you're going to want to go ahead and go to Etsy and search for a deluxe audio strap. You're going to want to specify for Quest 1 or 2. Several vendors sell the adapters. Now I bought my Quest 1 adapter from Metaverse Make. There's no issues with it, except that it slides around a bit. Now, I bought my Quest 2 for a lot cheaper from a vendor called Not Just a Hobby Prince. Links are going to be below. It's snapped on, snug fit, doesn't slide, perfect. I have no complaints about it. One of the most inexpensive vendors I've found. Most vendors also supply a D-ring. That's for extra comfort on the top. You're going to want to check and make sure that the vendor also supplies Velcro for the D-Ring. If it doesn't supply Velcro, some do, some don't, you're going to want to buy or cut yourself a 1 inch by 4 inch Velcro strap. That'll work perfectly. Okay, from the start to finish, here's how you take off your base strap and install your deluxe audio strap. 1. Take off your sides. A little pressure applied and they snap right off. 2. Take off the faceplate so you can slip off the strap. 3. Add the adapter to your Quest 1 or 2. Some snap on, some slide on. 4. Loop some Velcro to the front ring. 5. Loop your D-ring into that Velcro. 6. Attach the deluxe audio strap on the sides like so. Some might require more force or less. 7. Make sure to loop the top to fit you. If you want the best fit, here's what you do. Balance the top strap on the top of your head first. Then conform the front and back to where you want it to fit. Then just tighten it from there and it should feel less like it's pulling on your head front or the back. Next plug in the audio and you're done. All right. Now we're going to get on to the other options. Maybe you're not made of money and the $120 for the deluxe audio strap system is a little pricey. That's fine. There are other options and I picked two of them here for you that you can check out and I will grade them at the end. Now if you want to spend less money, here are your two choices. The Elite Strap for $50 and the second one is from a brand I love called Kiwi. It's called the... Kiwi Design Head Strap for Oculus 1, 2, or Rift. It's The link will be below. It just basically is this. The thing basically goes over your head from the left side to the right to relieve the pressure and add stability. It's $14, so why not? The Kiwi Strap is uh, hard to review. Uh, I mean, look at this. Does this look appealing? Well, for $14, what can you expect? The reason I am showing you how I installed it is because I literally spent 30 to 45 minutes trying to decipher how specifically to install this properly on my Quest 2. And to be honest, I still think it's wrong, but I am a little frustrated. 
Honestly, Kelly and I had mixed opinions on this. I think the fact that it comes from Amazon is great, because you can return it if you hate it, and at that price point, it's not bad. Kelly and I agreed, if you have the money, go for the $120 deluxe audio strap system. However, I parted ways with her a little bit and said that I might be okay with the Kiwi strap over the $50 Elite strap if I didn't have the money for the upgrades. The positives of this is that it brings the strap up off your ears, which is really nice, and it does balance the weight a little bit better. The Elite strap seems to crank the plastic into the back of your head, whereas in this gently squeezes every part of your head more evenly. It's not for working out, but it's not terrible. The Elite strap is not hard to review. In fact, people are raving about it, but honestly, regardless if it's breaking up for you or not, Kelly and I agree. The thing hurts if you wear it for more than one hour. It, it just does. It, it cranks that circle on the back of your head, and the entire thing lacks flexibility overall. Since our basic goal was to compare the $50 Elite Strap to the $120 Deluxe Audio Strap system, I would agree that if you are looking to save money, this isn't a bad way to go. Neither of ours broke, but we couldn't wait to upgrade to the Deluxe Audio System. If you truly want the feel the pinnacle of headsets and it's not something like the Index System, honestly, the DAS system is the best you can get. It really is. If you have the money, don't think, just go buy it. I own four DAS systems. Two for my wireless fives and two now for my Quest 2s. It really is that amazing. You want more. <laughs> you know you do. I know you wanted to hear more out of this video since it's basically an information dump on how to make your Franken Quest 2 better, right? Well, first off, it's amazing the accessories that can be carried over to the Quest 2 from the Quest 1. Really. So if you have any of these additional accessories, consider yourself lucky. First is the VR cover, Quest 1 silicone cover. This actually fits. Yeah, it does. Not great, but the fact is you can keep your base Quest 2 faceplate, fork out 14 bucks on Amazon for a silicone VR cover for the Quest 1, or if you are like me, you already own it, slap it on. Yeah, you can. It's not the best fit, and I hope they have something better soon, but if you are like me and working out every day with your Quest 2, this is amazing. The next carryover is the AMVR touch controller grips from the Quest 1. These work and fit exactly the same on the Quest 2. Imagine that, they actually just updated their Amazon page to say Quest 1 and 2. Poggers! They are amazing and I highly recommend them. They really make it easier to handle your controllers, especially for Beat Saber. The last carryover I noticed was the VR cover foam replacement cover for the DOS. Obviously your DOS comes with a cloth cover, but if you work out and sweat a lot or you just sweat while you VR, the foam replacement is a must for anyone with a Quest 2. With a silicone face cover and a leather headset cover, you never have to worry about a Quest 2 being nasty again. Let's talk about batteries. Now, I didn't think that I would add this to my review of all the accessories since my Quest 1 battery wasn't an issue. Really, I, I worked out almost every day with it and it was never low on battery. But my Quest 2, this thing is a glutton for power. No joke, if you want to record or cast while playing with your friends in something like Cookout, expect the battery to start dying after the first hour and 15 minutes. I kid you not, the battery is abysmal, so it's time to recommend a battery holder. Now I own two wireless Vibes and they came with batteries, so I'm not going to recommend a battery, but I will tell you the specs of the HTC batteries as they work great. I will review a power bank kit so you can attach your battery to your DOS or Elite Strap. The one I chose today is the AMVR Power Bank. Now I will show you how to install it on the DOS and the Elite Strap, 
you probably didn't think that it would fit on the Elite Strap, but yes it does. With a good amount of force, it snaps into the Elite Strap on the back perfectly. Talking about it on the DOS though, it fits like a charm. It's beautiful, fits perfectly, and the included cord runs on a magnet charger, which is compatible with my Cafella cables, so it's perfect. You just snap, install the included HTC Vive DOS adapter to it that it comes with it, snap it on to the back of your DOS or lead strap, and hook a battery in there. The HTC batteries have a size of about 4 inches by 2.5 inches by 1 inch. So that will give you a good idea of how big or small you want your battery to be. Honestly, get this. At $22, it's a complete steal. And if you play it more than an hour at a time, you will thank yourself for not having to tether yourself or take a break from the content. If you did want to tether though, I made a video about pulley systems for the index that is relevant to all Quest and Rift PC VR players. Okay, this was a stupidly long video to make, and I really appreciate you watching. If you could just do me a favor and like it. I don't make tech tip videos often, and I really hate fluff. I tried to make this as cut as possible. So if you liked it, consider subscribing for more VR tech tips. Let me know in the comments if you want me to review more accessories for the headsets too. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.